So starting with the basics, what is personalized advertising? It's the advertiser's ability to track users and deliver relevant, timely, and engaging messages at the right time to the right person in the right place. This is really important when you're thinking about how do you get a user to really engage with your ad. The main types of targeting that I'm going to talk about are contextual targeting and audience-based targeting. The difference is that contextual targeting really takes into account only what is going on on the page, the context. It could be the content. It could also be the skew of the page, whether it's positive or negative kind of sentiment. Audience targeting is based around data. It's based upon what you know about the user through deterministic user profiles, through probabilistic data sets as well. And both of these play into hyper-personalization and how an advertiser can use them effectively to target users. Here's an example of contextual targeting by itself. I, Nola, am watching the top 10 plays of the day on dailymotion.com, so this is basketball. And uh, it's identified that I'm watching basketball content. So I get served an ad for Nike shoes. However, this is a men's shoe, and I'm female. So it's, it's not really relevant for me uh, at all. <laughs> so it's not really a great example of good targeting. In this next example, this is audience-based targeting only. I'm watching the same basketball plays, and I get targeted for a lipstick. So the advertiser was able to identify that I was female, that I was within a certain age range and targeted me with this lipstick. Well, it's a really nice lipstick and any other day I might be really interested in buying it. Right now I'm watching sports. I'm not thinking about beauty. So the context isn't right for me right now to buy this lipstick. So this is also not particularly well targeted. This next example brings both together. So I'm watching the same content and I get targeted with a Nike sports top. This is relevant because it's relevant to the content of what I'm watching at the moment. And it's also relevant to my gender, my age range, and my probable interests. Or maybe they know actually more about me, and we'll get into that later. And this is a great example of how using both together can result in a really well-targeted ad that most likely will result in positive user engagement and potentially a conversion. 